Hello everybody, welcome back to Universe Sandbox. Today we're going to be checking out some of the workshop simulations. We're going to start with this simulation created by Baselin, which shows the entire Earth if it was only New Zealand. You can see up here it says tribute for New Zealand for not appearing in most maps after Antarctica, despite how big and populated it is. It looks like he used the planetscaping tool, which is right here, and just added New Zealand. Wow, that's actually, for Universe Sandbox, that's pretty detailed. So I'm guessing he just came in here and did something like this with the elevation. You're look at my lips, you're ruining it! Let's not ruin it. And it looks actually really cool. It's a lot smaller than Earth. If we put an Earth next to it, we can see that. I guess it's just the size of New Zealand, which is really actually pretty cool. And there can be life on here, so perfect. I guess 5% of New Zealand is inhabited. <laughs> next, we have a recreation of Jupiter. So if we take a look in here, we can see that in the appearance tab, the bands right here, look how many there are. This is a lot more detailed than the one that's just default in the game. And you can look at the detail on these, like up here. These bands are actually really, really cool. All the way down, you can see all of the little rings in here. And it's got their big red spot, as Jupiter always does. Um, I actually want to put a Jupiter next to it. So here's the Jupiter just in the normal universe sandbox. You can see on the top and the bottom it doesn't have that level of detail. We can check the bands in here and it's only got that many versus this one which is extremely detailed, a lot more detailed. And these are taken from real NASA um, observations. I think it would be a really cool if we could get something like this into the base game. I think universe sandbox should definitely add that. All right, next we got this giant star called Galactus, and it is bigger than 1.6 million Milky Ways. So it looks just like a star from here, but you can look down here. This is the radius. It's 1.6 million Milky Ways. Humongous. In the radius. So here's the Milky Way galaxy, the entire Milky Way galaxy right here. So here it is. Here's the entire Milky Way galaxy, and there's the star. Wow, that's huge. We're just one tiny speck in here. Also, the sun is in here. And it looks pretty big from there, but it really enhances your view of it. So if we zoom in more, whoa, it's like glitching out because it's so far away. So there's the sun and there's the, can't even, the whole thing's glitching out. I'm gonna hit unpause and see what happens because there's no way it can stay at this size. And unpause. Ooh, something happened. Ooh. And it's gone. I guess it's dead now. Now this one's actually really cool. It's a Dyson sphere structure around the sun. And these would be the stations that pick up the power, I think. So if you don't know what a Dyson sphere is, basically it's like a sphere around a star that would harness the star's power. And so you can generate large amounts of energy. So this is it around the sun. And if we hit play, we can see it actually moves around the sun. Very impressive. I don't think I would be able to do that. And then I'm guessing these are the stations that pick up the power. And then, yeah, look, it's shooting the power out. Wow. And this is actually based in a solar system where the planets are terraformed. So like if we look at Mars here, you can see it's terraformed. And I actually have a whole video about this system. So if you click the card in the top right up here, you'll be able to watch that video. All right, the links to all of these simulations are gonna be in the description below. And if you have any more you would like me to check out or you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, thanks for watching.